Oh, I gotta leave some stuff behind. Oh, I'm not gonna need all this medicine. And I'm damn sure not gonna need the rehearse and theater key. I'm not going back there. How limited the inventory space is, I imagine, is going to become a big problem. Alright, so we are in the uh, we're in the police station now if I remember correctly this is going to serve as a kind of a hub for the remainder of the game you go you start at the police station and then you're allowed to kind of freely move about the city you know in a way to access the different parts of the game like we're gonna have to go somewhere today so you go and choose it on the map, but I can go back to Carnegie Hall if I wanted to. I do there though. All right, so this would be Christmas Day. Now, of course, cops don't really get. Christmas off because I mean you know criminal activity doesn't stop just because it's a holiday so they're all here it's mentioned at the end of the last episode that Daniel has a son not going to get a chance to spend Christmas with him because I mean he's a cop so Oh, I can go through there. Huh. These doors can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh my god, these animations take forever. Can I give her an M16? An M16A1. Uh, okay, so we got a... Oh, mod permit, okay. I guess the... M16A1. It's my new gun, and if I remember correctly, it was the gun that I used during the first time I played through this game, I used it the entire time. Yeah, don't tell Torres. He's right in the middle of the room. He's right there.
Discard junk. Oh, I already dropped that stuff off. Uh, okay, so I know that I... First time I played the game, I used the... I used the... M16A1 throughout the entire game. Okay. <laughs> I used the M16A1 through the entire game. I didn't remember that was the gun, but I do remember it was the gun that Torres gave me. I'm not entirely sure that is the best way to do this game, but I just started upgrading it in the beginning and continued to use it up through the end of the game. The rifles, the long guns, had longer range and higher damage, but I, I guess they fire slower or something like that. Maybe your active time gauge takes longer to fill up. But the... I started upgrading it in the beginning and it ended up... At, at, at any one point was the best gun that I had. I don't know if... Uh, probably if I saved my parts, my upgrade items, and just use them for a gun a little bit would perhaps have a better weapon but you know I wasn't thinking that at the time I'm still not sure if I should do that or not but I did put the upgrade item in storage be maybe, maybe I'll uh, hey it's little Hugh Hefner I guess they don't have gendered locker rooms here. Okay, I guess that was... Oh, nope, she's taking everybody's stuff. What, what are you... Are you stealing shit? <laughs> Which one did I just get? <laughs> what is SA? Well, this one's got better stats. You know, I should go back to Tor... Uh, what's his name? What's that guy's name? Kyle? No, Kyle's a character in Parasite Eve 2. The hell's that guy's name? The one in the basement I just talked to. It stores shit. <laughs> I remember it not being as memorable of a game. Probably because I didn't beat it. You know what? I just talked to him and I didn't bother reading what it is. Oh well. I don't think he's important anyway. Uh, adding a little bit of character. You know, I had forgotten the whole thing about Ben and Daniel.
I guess you didn't see that. I'm not sure that it uh, happened if it was recorded, but I got stuck on that door for like 15 seconds. There's an upstairs too? Damn, this place is big. Probably bigger than it needs to be. Alright, so I, I'm not even allowed everywhere in the police station. All right, I know this is the exit, so I'm not going to leave through here. Dude, you <laughs> turned all the way around. <laughs> Guess there's nothing here. station. Oh yeah, dial up the crazy. That'll get him on your side. Good job, Aya. Just dug yourself a... My god, look at the texture on that guy's back. For one thing, it looks like he's bare-assed. 
And he's got a lot of weird pixelization on the back of his shirt. Oh, wow. This is a game that I wish maybe they had a little more experience with the hardware before they made this. It definitely looks a lot better in Parasite Eve 2. hold of this research scientist who's been doing work on the mitochondria but that'll have to be in the next episode because you know we're nearing 19 minutes aren't you going to say anything else fine fine okay Ah, see, here we go. The New York skyline, or at least Manhattan Island. Kind of cool to see the game, uh, the city in this 3D form, as primitive as it is. The skyline is pretty iconic in terms of the World Trade Center towers in the background. And I see... Uh, the Chrysler building there. I am not seeing the Empire State Building. But the... Well, the Chrysler Building is part of the game later on. So I know that's why that's there. And the World Trade Center, of course, would be destroyed three years after... Was this 98? This was made three years after the events in this game around about a little bit less there's a whole big thing about like I remember there was a movie that was coming out around uh, late 2001 that ended up having to be delayed because they needed to like digitally remove the World Trade Center from the background of a few scenes it took place in New York I forget what movie that was and there was... I don't know. Look at the rest of the city. It's all... <laughs> especially uh, looking in that direction. It looks, it looks like the city's already destroyed. <laughs> but oh well. I gotta go... I gotta go here. But I'll be going here 